All right, so in this video we're going to take a look at putting a micro SD card into an Hotel 906 BT scanner. So I ran out of space in the most recent update. So uh, trying to get everything loaded in here. So when you look at the uh, literature on this scanner, it talks about the uh, biggest card you can put in it is a uh, 32 gigabyte card. They don't give you much information about it. So I contacted Hotel and they said uh, to get a 32 gigabyte speed 10 card. So I happen to have a camera here with a 64 gig card in it. So if we take that out and take a look at it, you'll see uh, it's a 64 and it's got the 10 on it right there. So we'll take a look at what it looks like uh, when you run this software here. So you when you try to do an update, like just to download a program, it says to put in a 16 to 128 gigabyte card. So I think that this, with the most up-to-date software on it, it's probably good for 128 gigs. But 64 is double what the uh, posted maximum is, so I thought I'd put this in. So we're not going to go and do that right away. Let's take a look at the uh, computer first. So you can go into settings, then system settings and go down to uh, storage. Sorry, it's not going to be in focus the entire time. But like, there's still six gigabytes of space on here, but it's protecting itself so it doesn't get completely filled up. So we're going to put in this uh, SD card. It goes into the top here, kind of facing backwards. It's a real nuisance to put it in here. But when you get it, you'll hear a little click when it's in. You have to use your fingernail or a screwdriver or something to get it in. So it's uh, in there now. And it needs to be uh, formatted to EX FAT. If you have it formatted to FAT32 or NTFS, it's not going to work. When I put it in the first time, I actually had to format it. And there was a little so that's the wrong spot, but they uh, format because it was probably formatted to, uh, to uh, FAT32 initially. But we're just going to erase this card and get it kind of initialized just for uh, this device here. I wouldn't use this card in anything else like cameras or computers or anything. You just dedicate it to this machine. Plus it's kind of hard to get it out. You have to use like a knife or a screwdriver to kind of push on the edge of the card to get it to disengage. So it'll take a little while here to do this part. So that's done. So we should have some more space now if we take a look. Calculating the space on it still. So 57 available. Then it's 27. So it's about 32 gigs built in. And I got 64 external now. So go to home. Go to MaxiSys. So I bought this used and it still has like five months of updates on it. So that's why I've got the tape on here just to cover the uh, previous owner's information because I don't really think that needs to be shared. So uh, it's a 1.9 gigabyte file here. We've got the uh, new card in. So we're going to click on update all. It'll do this in a particular order. If there's any software that needs to be updated for the uh, machine, it'll do those first. And now you can see that uh, it's downloading, so it's uh, working. This is a pretty big file, so uh, we'll let that go on. To update the uh, VCI is a bit different process. So I think uh, we could probably do multitasking, I don't know. I've got this plugged into the wall with the uh, power supply. Definitely use that when you're updating. You don't want to ruin it. So you go into settings, and I have to remind myself how to do this. There's a actually we're not in the right place, but for uh, auto update, you can do these three updates here: operating system, maxi system software that this runs, and the vehicle updates are all here. But uh, go back to maxi system. If you swipe sideways, there's going to be uh, I went by it the VCI manager. This is where you uh, update this device. 
So you can use a, a USB cord in here. I got mine used, it didn't come with the cord, but I had one for my uh, an old GPS. But uh, don't leave this plugged in all the time because it gets warm when you have it plugged in. So it just plugs into the back here. See if you can get it one handed. We did. Because uh, it seems to get hot and it's just unnecessarily hard on it. But there's a light in it, so there must be a battery that is charging. So it's just communicating here uh, with it. It'll click and beep a little bit. So you go to VCI update. It's going to eventually tell me that I don't need to update it because it's up to date. But it's good to do it, uh, check it every couple months. I don't think you get any notice uh, as to when you need to update it. Just doing a bit of connecting here right now. Checking for updates. Yeah, I'm good to go. I have version 2.01, which is current as of today. So yeah, you can leave this plugged in to the uh, wall all the time to keep it battery charged. But I wouldn't leave that guy plugged in. It seems like it's probably going to shorten his life if you do that. So I'll go back to home. Maxi Sys. See how the updates are doing. So we're up to 4% uh, now. So that's working. So that's a success. So the point is that if you want to buy a card, you can get like a 64 or 128 and you'll be good for the uh, long term for downloading updates. So thank you for watching.